at the moment teachers are doing wealth declaration using various devices and one of these devices is the mobile phone do you know the reason why you should not use the mobile phone to do that just follow me along this video and i'll show you the best method to use when you're doing your wealth declaration so i have the same screen opened in one of the tabs using my browser in my computer you can see here that on the left hand side uh, just next to the term or the word uh, teachers online there is wealth declaration if i move my cursor and hover over that it gives me a drop down menu that gives me a lot of option one of them is to go and change general information or basic information statement information dependent information and then you can view the statement of 2015 to 2017 and even view the statement of 2017 to 2019 and even information about the witness when you're using the pc this information is there but when we go to the mobile phone i've tried all i can to see whether this information can be given including this tab here right at the right hand corner you can see where that cursor is now i've connected a cursor to my mobile phone and therefore i'm able to show you fine details including these i've tried to click on that to see whether it can give me that kind of information but the but that information is not there i've also tried to scroll upwards to see whether that black line you can see on the pc there is this black line and that is where we get this group of tabs there i've tried to see that to see whether this information is available when i'm using the mobile phone apparently mine is not uh, giving me this information i don't know about yours but this appears to be a bit of a problem even the tsc logo which is supposed to be here is missing when you're using the mobile phone uh, that is the one of the reasons i would recommend that you use, use the pc when you're doing your wealth declaration because you get to see everything when you need it now the other one is you know at the end of uh, your declaration you want some kind of evidence that you've submitted whatever you've submitted you want some kind of evidence i would propose that you print a pdf form of this wealth declaration now many teachers are wondering how do you do that one when you do your submission there is a pdf report that is sent to your email so go to your email and check for that pdf of wealth declaration 2019 you can start by typing your name your first name and then you do wealth declaration 2019 maybe if you're called john just to type john wealth declaration 2019 and somewhere if it has been sent to your email you will be able to see that information now i have tried this with my email but when i did this wealth declaration it was not sent to my email so what i did is that i went to the declaration preview which is found here um view statement 2017 to 2019 if i click that let's see what happens when i click it it immediately opens a second tab here and in that tab it's going to give me a pdf format of that wealth declaration so as we wait for that let's go back to my mobile phone here apparently this site can't be reached let me reload the same site i think the website is very busy right now i know many teachers are doing their returns and the site might be a little bit busy and you see here i've opened the same account using a pc and the mobile phone so definitely uh, the website may, must be experiencing a lot of traffic at the moment but if you were to do that it would immediately give you a pdf version of your wealth declaration let me go back to the previous uh, tab so that we can continue with our discussion so there is this neat drop down which is missing when you are using the mobile phone remember if you want to print 
your PDF version of your declaration, go, just go to the year when you did the declaration. This is 2017, 2019. You click that, like I said, a PDF will open. The other problem that I have noted with the mobile phone is when I want to close my account. Now with the PC, I just need to go to this tab where I can see my name. If I click on that drop down arrow, it gives me three options. The first one is to view my profile and do all the necessary changes that I need. And then the second one is the sign out tab. If I click that, I will obviously be signing out. Now let's see the same when we go to the mobile phone. If I come here and click that tab like that, notice what happens. A blank screen is seen, just blank. It has three tabs. And I know it has three tabs from what I've seen from the PC. But when you're using the mobile phone, you actually don't know what is there. You might click the first one, which gives you uh, my profile. Click the second one, which gives you sign out. Or even the third one, which gives you uh, some kind of test. Now, notice that I'm getting this because I'm using a cursor. When you're using your finger to scroll on the screen, the moment you touch that part of the screen, it's as if you have pressed that tab. It's not that you are trying to select. I've done this and I found that if you press the first one, it takes you to your profile. And then many teachers are lost there. They really don't know what to do. And then they leave their accounts uh, unclosed. That is the accounts open. And then maybe the account will be closed after a certain duration or when they even switch off their mobile phones. But this one is risky because you don't know what can happen between uh, that time and when you close your phone. Somebody could access your mobile phone and do some changes to your account and mess it all up. You, so you really don't want to leave your account when it is still open. You want to switch it off. This is what I would recommend. When you're using the mobile phone, and you have gone here, clicked it, and then there is this white illumination. Then just go to the middle of that space. You see there is a third, there is another one third, there is another one third here. Go to the middle, click that, and you will have signed off. But when you're using the PC, you don't need to do that. You can see even if um, the cursor is not there, I can clearly read what is there. I think the problem that has happened with this is that the the designers have uh, put the background to be white and then in order to improve or on it or maybe to give it some kind of appeal um, they just want the words to be revealed when you put your finger there but they've forgotten that when you're using the mobile phone you're using your fingers and uh, uh, tapping on a screen meaning that you're giving instructions for that tab to be executed. So they've written the fonts in uh, white and the background is white. Really that one is not something that is that is appealing and it's confusing a lot of teachers. I would propose that the designers go back and do a bit of changes here. So let me uh, close this. So remember two things. When using the mobile phone, the neat navigation which is given here is missing. That is as far as my mobile phone is concerned. Remember, if yours is showing that, maybe there is a problem with mine. And maybe you, uh, you can write down in the comments below. Just tell me how you're finding it. Is yours giving you this white illumination and uh, therefore a bit of uh, confusion? Or what is it giving you? Just let me know in the comments below. Or just uh, write in my WhatsApp and... Maybe if you're experiencing other problems, I can be able to assist you from there. So let me close the one from the mobile phone. If I click that, the middle of it, definitely it will, it will close. Because I've given the instructions for signing out. And you can see I've signed out and now it prompts me to log in again. And of course, I had already closed uh, the one from my... PC because it's quite clear what we are supposed to do when you're using the PC. So that is what I wanted to share with you for now. If you're experiencing any problems, like I said, just let me know via WhatsApp or just write in the comments below.